Which one of these um, many wonderful games are we going to play? <clears throat> that one. That one right there. <laughs> oh, I tried to point at it. Hi! <laughs> I should probably turn my um, or my TV down. I don't want to pick up in a mic. Because, I mean... <clears throat> so I really hope you can't hear this background noise. No, I can't. Don't worry, I can't hear anything. Okay, good. Because this mic isn't very powerful, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Mine can actually can be overly powerful, which is a bad thing. <laughs> but and that's literally it. That that's literally NES cutscenes, fifteen seconds. I don't know what we got from that, but yeah, let's play yeah. it. Let's play the Adventures of Lolo. This is Lolo on his adventure. This this, this f fucking this thing right here. Yay! I'll turn on my music for two minutes. I hope you guys like this song, by the way, because it's the only song you'll hear in the game. I forgot how to play. Well, oh, right. you have to, like... I remember. Waddle, you have to walk like Shuffle. you shit yourself. Front door. Because he does walk like he took a mat. He's, he's pooped him. Oh, he's got no pants. I quit. <laughs> That's the worst part of this game, is what you saw right there. So, as you can tell, we're playing this on the Switch. We're playing the NES Online on Switch. Which, the problem is... <laughs> He fucking came back! I didn't know oh he came back. It will kill him though. Yeah. yeah. But the, the problem is that we have to sort of maneuver between very small gaps with the controls, the NES control stick, and it just wasn't designed for this. I use the D-pad and it's not any better. Yeah, I try. I've used both, which is why it's exactly there's no difference really, is it? Not on the Pro Controller, maybe if I use the Joy-Con it might be a little easier because they're actually buttons. <clears throat> yeah. My but mine aren't even charged. Alright dude, Because if you leave them out of the Switch for too long, they just run out of juice. Yeah, stop throwing up at me. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I didn't like you burn juice. I didn't know you could burn juice. As you can see, we're sort of just trading off between each level. Or if one of us gets really yeah. stuck or dies a bit, we'll trade off. That's probably the way we'll do it. I'm just... I always wait for this fucker to come over. He's yeah. Going to... It's gotta be a shit bag. Come on, Jigglypuff. Yeah. So they fall asleep when you touch them, but they don't hurt you. The, pro the, the trick to this puzzle is make sure he doesn't block the path. All this to save Lala, and then Kirby kills us both anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there is a morbid plotline to these games. <laughs> there really is. <laughs> Which we don't know about. Because now... I, I can't imagine how sad people were that actually played this, and then played like Kirby Superstar later on. <laughs> or actually... I guess Kirby... Well, were Lolo and Lala in the first Kirby game? I can't remember. I think they're in the NES one at least, so I don't know which came first, honestly. Because if if they're in the first Kirby game, then it would have been before this game, I think, or around the same time. I don't know. Because the original Kirby, the first Kirby game, was on the Game Boy. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. And if you played Kirby Superstar, Spring Breeze is the first Kirby game. Yeah, exactly. Kirby do quite a bit of that. The same as Sonic in that shit. I moved. I may have... No, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, there's a suicide button, luckily. Yeah, there is a suicide button. That was my bad. I moved <clears throat> without even... Uh... Well, I accidentally hit the control stick without even thinking. And I forgot these guys moved the minute you moved. I forgot how this guy's aggro. Okay. Fuck you. So, fuck yeah. Me, you fuck. This is actually probably quite a standard sort of 80s slash 90s. I know obviously this is a game for the 80s, but there's a lot of games like this in the 80s and 90s. Your standard sort of puzzle game. Because yeah. basically cause you had the 2D um, board. To be fair, the board is quite similar to like a Bomberman board, because you've literally got like a square layout. Yeah. A lot of old games were definitely like that. Yeah. <laughs> and they're quite cool and quirky, but... So the minute I move, he's gonna chase me, so I have to pretty much haul ass, which is hard with this fucking control stick, but... Oh yeah, um... The only difference between 
the original Kirby game in Spring Breeze is that I think the very first Kirby game on the Game Boy... I forgot what it was called, it was just like Kirby's Adventure, I think, I don't know. I think that was the NES one, but... Wow, nice. Kirby's, Kirby's Dream Land was the first one, I think. Was it? I think that's what it was called. I genuinely can't remember. I wish I had Sapphire in here, because he's the Kirby expert. Yeah, and um... What I was going to say about that is the, the first Kirby game didn't actually have uh, Power Up. You just had to, uh, like, swallow everything and, like, shoot it at, like, when you take an enemy in your mouth and you could, like, shoot it out. That was basically the main tactic of that game. Yeah. And then Kirby's Adventure for the NES, which I believe was the next one. That introduced power-ups for the first time. All right, luckily they died, so we don't need to block him off. Yeah. Fucking Medusa heads or whatever the fuck they are. <clears throat> yeah, the, the, this game it starts to get trickier as it goes along. I'm trying to remember this one. I think Ooh. I have to move... Oh, yeah. So I... He will kill you if he sees you, so I'm just going to put my th block there and block there. To be fair, we've played this game a few times, so we're pretty much well versed on the first two worlds. After that, That's it goes to shit. <laughs> this game gets really hard, too. It does, yeah. Uh, uh, I did watch a speedrun of it at GDQ. Um, I recommend watching a speedrun of it because it's they do a lot of like cool strats and like shortcuts and stuff, and they just like manipulate a lot of things in the game. I don't know any of the strats really because it's hard to remember that when you've seen a speedrun once. Yeah, and I feel like there's certain games where it's you watch a speedrun, <laughs> but fuck, get on the bridge. <laughs> like <laughs> that's oh, literally like this game. Well, on the Switch, but um, yeah, that, there are certain games where I watched them but I've watched I haven't but they're not childhood favorites and you see the odd speedrun of it and you just don't retain oh, much of it hammer. like it looks impressive but you don't retain much oh it has to glow before I can use it that's yeah right. there we go it's so stupid mind your own business <laughs> it's like a, I'm, I'm just gonna lurk here yeah, so you've got to. <laughs> I, I, I sneeze gumballs. It's <laughs> pretty fucked up. It's all those special power, don't you know? Sneezing gumballs. Huh? Huh? That, I, oh, I don't have any sneezes. Uh, th this one's stupid because there has to be a better way to do this, but it's the only way we ever do it, so I don't know. Because <laughs> I have no fucking clue. That's definitely the, the move. You have to get oh, the yeah. other one. Oh shit, yeah, I do. Oh, well. Yeah, this oh, guy... I, 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 I went... Like I said, there's, there's gotta be an easier way around that guy, I just don't know it. Yeah, I nudged too far forward, I wanna have another go. Well, we basically just, like, trade off every level until we, like, feel like trading off. Yeah. Basically. And we do it. Yeah, we're quite lax there we go. on it, to be fair. This game is an experience, man. And and the thing is, it's like we can kind of work together anyway in figuring out puzzles and stuff. So it's like it doesn't really matter who's controlling it. You just killed just Oh, never mind. I didn't know you could actually push that through the arrow. I think this is probably the easiest. I think way you can only is. get one. Oh wait, no, you can get another one. Oh, well, you no, can't. You, if no, you, you can't. No, no, I can't. Yeah. But I. Sh well, I've only got one to deal with. Cause, cause I think, oh, I've got one yeah, left. I think last I? Time... Yeah, there you go. Wow, that's that's way easier. I just think before we didn't think you could actually push those out of there. No, I know, because, yeah, it, it requires some careful manipulation, but I think, to be fair, last time we played this, we were pissed off with Discord and everything, and we weren't thinking clearly. I think we're in a bit more of a zen state of mind. Yeah, this is... Having, this is better. Having, I'm not going to do what I always fucking do. <laughs> yeah, the tempter. Okay. Having said that, we're now in World 3, so uh -huh. that Zen state of mind may not... <laughs> we may not last too much longer. Hold on, okay. Do you guys like the song yet? <laughs> to no. be fair, I like it, but after a while it does get repetitive. <laughs> Okay. So yeah. Okay. I always have to like think about this because I always confuse myself. Oh no, this game definitely requires a lot of consideration. Fucking fucking fuck. Yeah, that's right. 
Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> Especially because, like, these blocks, it just takes one wrong push and you're like, well, gotta kill myself. Yeah. And obviously with how this buddy... With, and again, because we're playing on the NES, because we're playing on a Switch, sorry, which is a little bit more unforgiving with the con controls. It's, um... Yeah. Yeah, we, one false move well, really can fuck you. Because one tap, that's how far he moves with one tap. He has, like, a little bit of, like, momentum almost. He doesn't move just, like, one tile. It's, like, half a tile. And then if you hold it, sometimes you move too far. I know. Because he moves, like, one and a half tiles after that. It's bull schism. It's just really odd. Yeah. Figure out. Okay. I mean, to so... be fair, it is a 30-year-old game and they're trying to get it to a modern console, so I do get that it isn't yeah, it's easy, but... It is also frustrating. Oh shit, I didn't realize that was actually the last one. I'm fucked. Oh yeah. Because I have to block him off first, no matter what. Yeah. No, I totally didn't even pay attention to that either. Yeah, I was like, shit, I missed though. Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I have to block this guy, and then I'll just take care of the other one now. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm you guys... I'm scared of fucking myself up here. But yeah, you guys can sort of see what this game is like. And like a lot of puzzle games, it's sort of... There are, there is elements of, there are elements <clears throat> of trial and error um, on occasions, yeah. especially if it's you get to unfamiliar or really tedious parts. <laughs> <laughs> the trees are the hardest thing. They actually are. This is the hardest part about this game is walking in a straight line. <coughs> butt, shr butt shrubs. Butt shrubs, yeah. Fikai. All right. <laughs> Check this out. I'm gonna go straight up and kill myself. Okay. Yeah, that's also one thing I think there. Anyone I think is probably just does Oof. isn't quite paying full attention. You expect you to go straight up. Right. Oh, it's everyone's favorite fucking level. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm. I, you actually might. You did this last time, didn't I? <coughs> I fucking suck at this one. Because the minute he moves... Go fucking! Yeah, because you have to... You have to use him as a bridge. <clears throat> Testiclites! <laughs> Testiclites. <laughs> Ouch! I sni- I followed phlegm on him. Okay, we've got a game over. Gad. Give you a few goes and I'll if we don't do it I'll have another go. Oh, yeah. oh. That's the password, it's be right back, Dad. <laughs> be right back, Dan, because you're gonna leave me on this no, game over screen you. for a few minutes. I forgot to press start, I can't press A. No! Ah, I'm so upset! 